Hello everybody, I am Shujai Imran from Make Tech Easier and today I'll be showing you some tips and tricks to save battery life on your Android 4.4 KitKat device. There is no denying the fact that there has to be a trade-off between the features your phone offers and the battery life. But there are still certain steps that you can take to improve battery life on your Android device. In Android 4.4 KitKat, you can easily activate Google Now by saying, OK Google. While this has made it easier to search things, it also means that your phone is constantly in listening mode, waiting for you to say those two words. Needless to say, it's a big battery drain. Now, depending on your device, the way to disable this feature might be a bit different. For this guide, we're using a Samsung Galaxy S5, but the method might be slightly different for your device. To turn this feature off, open up the Google Settings app on your device. Here, click on Search and Now, and then on Voice. Here, you'll see an option for OK Google Detection. Tap on it and make sure all three options are disabled, namely the From Google Search app option, the From Any Screen option, and the From Lock Screen option. Make sure all three of these options are disabled. The second option we have is to disable the Google Now feature. If you don't really use Google Now, be sure to disable it, as the feature can also drain a lot of battery life. For this, open up the Google Settings app and navigate to Search and Now. Doing this should give you an option to disable Google Now as shown. Simply turn this toggle to the off position. Now turn off Google Now. This resets all card settings to the default values. Click on Turn Off. Once that's done, Google Now should turn off. Android KitKat also brought along the ability to select location mode, a method through which your phone determines its location. So simply open up the settings app on your device and navigate to location. Now depending on your device, the interface might be slightly different, but you have to find and tap on location. Here, click on mode. You'll now see that there are three modes, high accuracy, which uses the combination of GPS, Wi-Fi, and mobile networks to estimate your location. The second option is power saving, which uses Wi-Fi and mobile networks to estimate your location. And the third one is GPS only to figure out where you are. For saving your battery life, we'd recommend you choose the power saving option. Although it's not as accurate as the high accuracy option, you shouldn't need the high accuracy option unless you need your actual accurate location. Also introduced in Android 4.4 is the Android Runtime, an application runtime environment that replaces Dalvik process with ART, originally used by Google's mobile OS. In simple terms, ART is a new way of executing apps on top of the Android operating system. To understand why ART is battery friendly, you'd first have to understand how it functions. In easy terms, Dalvik is based on JIT, just in time compilation, which means that it compiles an app's source code each time the app executes. On the other hand, ART is based on ahead of time AOT processes that does the required conversion when the app is first installed. This offers you not only more speed, but also better battery life on your device. You should know that there are certain limitations of the Android runtime. For example, it uses more storage and it is not compatible with every app out there. To activate ART time, you first need to have developer options on your device activated. To do this, open up the settings app on your Android device, scroll down and tap on about device. On my device, developer options is already enabled, but if it isn't on your device, repeatedly tap on build number seven times. Once you tap seven times, a message will come saying that you are a developer. This will turn on developer mode on your device. Now come back to the previous menu and you'll see a developer options option above the about device option. Tap on developer options and you'll now be taken to another menu. Here, tap on Select Runtime and select Use ART. Once you do this, a message will show up saying that your device will restart in order to change the runtime from file name to file name. 
so once you're sure you want to do this click on OK and your device will restart the whole conversion process will take about 10 to 20 minutes did you know that your phone scans for Wi-Fi connections even if you've turned off the Wi-Fi option this feature also drains a lot of battery life from your device to disable this feature open up the settings app on your device and navigate to Wi-Fi the advanced option on your device and turn off the always allow scanning feature so there you have it our tips for saving battery life on your Android device let us know in the comments what other methods do you use for saving battery life on your Android KitKat device be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. I'm Shujaa from Make Tech Easier and have a good day.